As part of our introduction to WordPress, I want to talk about themes. Now, themes are the way uh, WordPress allows you to install a theme and have your content presented in a different way. Okay. Now, on, on WordPress.org, there's 2,366 themes. Now, some of them are terrible. Um, some of them are quite good. Uh, some of the default ones are quite good, and they're, they're, they're very basic in what they can do. What you'll find is that most of the themes on WordPress uh, dot, dot org are fairly basic, okay? But where things do get their power from is the ability to create a child theme. And what that does is it allows you to, for instance, take this theme here and make it look any way you want it to look without actually touching the original theme that you've installed. And what it does is that you create a child theme which is a child of the parent, which is, say, in this case, responsive, and allows you to put all the edits in a file, um, in, in a folder on your server, that actually changes the look of this. And you might change the, the look of the, the menu. You might put some other things in here, you, all, you know, the latest news items uh, and things like that. Okay. However, um, this does require a developer, and that's what most developers are called on for now, is to actually change the look of the child theme. And if you look here, here are the few of the reasons uh, that, that, that WordPress give for using a child theme. And there's a basic guide on how you start creating one. It's not for the faint-hearted, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's not the most difficult thing in the world to do either. But normally this is handled by your developer, okay? So I'm going to give you an example of a child theme, and this is this is one by Woo Themes, okay? And there are other uh, uh, themes that are available to purchase on on sites like um, like Theme Forest, which have thousands of uh, WordPress themes for sale as well. But the thing to be careful of, obvious, you want to buy or you want to have a starter theme or a parent theme that is always updated because there's always issues with them and they always need to be updated. And, and the, the beauty of that is you can update your parent theme anytime to the latest version because all of your edits to that theme on the way you want it to look are, are created in the child. So I'm going to give you an example of that through, through the Canvas theme. Uh, Canvas is a very basic framework that allows you to uh, control all different types of, uh, of, your, of, your, uh, of your website. Okay. And this is how, this is once installed and, and with and putting a bit of content in, this is how it looks. It's very basic. But the power of it comes into what you can do. And I'm going to give an example of a child theme that's using this as the parent theme. And that is uh, the Monday Morning Cooking Club. So you can see that that looks drastically different to the original theme. Okay? Drastically different. And that's what this allows you to do, child, creating child themes allows you to do. So the reason for this is I want you to understand how child themes work, okay? Um, and this is a great example of one. I mean, the, the amount of customization and features in this is quite uh, impressive, the amount of work that's been done in it. And if you looked into the folder on the server of the child theme, you'll see lots of different uh, things have been changed, okay? But what this is allows is it allows you to um, allows you to control a lot of the aspects of, of, the, of how it works and then customise what you don't like and, or what you do want added. Okay, and that's where you need a developer. Okay, so let's, have, let's, let's, uh, let's recap on, uh, on child themes. Child themes are used to customise the theme that you've, you've installed. Okay, to allow to present the website in a different manner. Okay, so that's the main reason for child themes and it allows you to update it allows you to update the parent theme without without uh, ruining the look and feel of your website. Because otherwise, if you did all the edits in your parent theme, then when you went to upgrade it, it would just overwrite all the edits and you'd be back to the start again. And then you'd have to go back and re-customise everything. Okay? And that would cost a lot of money and take a lot of time and be very frustrating. 